hello hello my lovelies okay this is it this is our final YouTube how to Tuesday experience and um, I am wanted first of all foremost to say is thank you thank you thank you for being with me on this journey I'm not going away from YouTube entirely but it's going to be a very different format that I'll be presenting and you'll see more of that but um, the How To Tuesdays that I do every Tuesday will be going to Patreon only. So for those of you that have been with me, I hope that you come and join me on Patreon. If you have not and you have been here and enjoyed this journey with me the last two years, I am so very grateful. My cup is full, you guys. I'm, I have so much gratitude for this experience. And um, it's because you of you being here that I have been able to find the confidence and the ability and the skills to be able to take it to Patreon. So um, thank you so much. And for those of you that have joined me on Patreon, you guys, I have lots of fun things planned. I have lots of fun things planned. I have, I feel like Patreon is going to give me more freedom to explore. It, it, you may or may not know this about me, but I am a mixed media girl at heart. I am somebody who loves to be tactile, loves to build dimensional, loves 3D stuff and, um, and you know, lots of layers, lots of glue, lots of paper. And I used to do that solely for a very long time. And then I transitioned to portrait work and, um, which I, it's filled my soul, filled my heart to do and I will continue to do. But I feel like on Patreon, I have more freedom to explore again to, to dip my toe back into the world of that and not be so I don't know if it's maybe it could just be me it could be just me I feel a little pigeonholed in the portrait arena not that I don't love it and I will continue absolutely to do it but um I think Patreon is going to give me the space to explore and like reinvent or not reinvent but like go back to the core of who I am you know also and comfortably and not have to worry about you know pleasing a pleasing um myself I guess and whatever t ideas that I have manifested in my brain um so yeah I'm I feel like I'm rambling but this is like kind of something that I've been like I said before something that's been going on for a long time inside me and I feel like this is the time to transition and make the leap and the jump so I hope that you make the leap and the jump with me um because I cannot wait to go play with uh, my patrons. <laughs> okay, so about that, that's that. If you are interested, if you're somebody who's been with me for a long time, I do have a link to my Patreon channel down in the description box. So please check it out. Come see, come see what we have. Um, lots of stuff over there already. Lots and lots of videos and just more to come. And I did say that I would have a new, another announcement. I have on my Etsy page, I have completely revamped my Etsy page. And what I have done is, drum roll. Okay guys, here we are. This is my new page on Etsy. It's Paper Dolls, Jen's Paper Friends, digital downloads for the creative. And I am so excited for you guys to see this. You can use it for scrapbooking, craft projects, card making, bullet journaling, collage projects, mixed media projects, ATCs, all kinds of stuff, mix and match. These are the mix and match right here. These are where I have taken, um, let's click on this, one of my pieces, one of my works of, like one of my drawings and created it, something that was um, in separate pieces. Let's go to another one. And let's see here, let's see this one. This one is where I took, this is the main image, that's the full image, and then I took her apart in pieces so that you guys can reassemble onto, like say you want to do the earrings or the necklace on one of your own drawings, you are more than welcome to do so. I think it's so exciting. Let's see, what else have I done? I also have uh, like this guy here, this beauty here, I have where I have taken it apart. This is the full image. You get a, usually one or two of those on a sheet on this type where this is the mix and match version. And then you can, I've taken the hair apart, the faces, I've given you different sizes. So you guys can, it's almost like a puzzle that you guys can put back together yourselves any way you choose to. I've also uploaded my, um, these are for coloring pages. You can use them as black and white, or you can, and you can print them out on any kind of substrate you choose. Watercolor paper, you can watercolor them in. It's totally up to you. And then um, like here I have a little journal sample what it looks like, you know, you can do them in journaling, you can cut out around, do, do what you want. You can color them with color pencil, you can leave them black and white, like I said, it's completely up to you. 
And then I have here where I've done full imagery, where you get full images of in different sizes of a certain one of my certain one of my one of my girls. One of my girls. Let's see if we can find another one. So many fun things like this one right here. I have all different sizes. You guys, I can see them on shipping tags and in journals and in bullet journals and on cards, just all kinds of fun stuff. Totally. I mean, the sky's the limit, honestly. And then I've also done where you have um, like trios where you can purchase three full figure images on something on a sheet of paper. And you guys can print these out, like I said, on any substrate and use them on anything that you want to use them on. Um, obviously, you know, you can't resell anything. This is just for your playtime and your fun, your private stuff. But I mean, the sky's the limit, you guys. This is so exciting to me and the possibilities are endless. Endless. I also created um, a bunch of tags. Like you can create your own tags. You punch a hole at the top of these and you create your own tags. Here we go. You can cut them apart, add stuff, put a bunch in the journal. Like this one right here, this image right here, um, it was, I cut it out and then I included it, you know, I re I printed it a couple times. I got the mushrooms and included it in a journal spread. It's just, the sky's the limit. It's, I'm so excited for you guys to see it. So anyways, I just wanted to share this with you guys. There's over a hundred images here, ideas, and I'll just keep adding more and more as time goes on. But um, I'm very excited and I cannot wait for you guys to start playing with these. And please, please remember to share them on Next Generation Art so that I can see your genius at work and see what you guys have been doing. All right, you guys. Thank you. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see. was I grabbed I have just my little cauldron filled with all my different size pens it, then that'll variety it'll change to you um, I grabbed my Prima Tropicals watercolor those are the colors these might be a little too bright for me you know I keep wanting to use them but I just I don't know I don't know I'm not like oh my gosh I love those but um so I may or may not use them use those. And then I have my Daniel Smith, which, you know, my favorites in terms of the green gold, um, the uh, indigo, and then the Naples. This is Naples yellow. This is one I use a lot for skin tone. And this is quadrupride on gold. And then this is sap green right here. Those are the ones I use a lot. You can tell because there's big holes dug into them. <laughs> so, and then I have my core, my core, my core, Q O R paints Move that out of the way. Um, yeah, see, I don't know. I just think between these, these are just more of like a classier, richer. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Prima watercolors. Love, love, love them. Uh, you've, if you've been around for five seconds, you know that I love the Prima and I love, especially love their complexion palette because I use it for all kinds of stuff. If you haven't, then now you know. But I don't know. I just feel like this color palette to this same similar colors in here. This just seems a little warmer, a little bit classier I don't know I just I think this would be the one that I'm gonna go with if I use the brighter colors and then I grab this this is from my sketchbook it's Kiritake Kiritake they're they're good watercolors um they usually come in a big green they're they're really affordable and they come like in a big green 
palette. There's a lot of them, but I really love this color. That's one of my favorite colors, so I might be using that also, which is why it's out. So, yeah, and then I have my pencil. It's just my mechanical pencil. This is a 0 0.9. Kind of too big for me. Like I, I like a smaller point, but it is what it is. And just I have my Clickety eraser, a watercolor brush. This is number six by Winsor Newton. A blending stump. May or may not use. I'm not 100% on that yet. But we're going to do a watercolor with graphite drawing. Um, yeah, and we'll get started. And then I have my heat gun and just my water, my water dish. Okay. All right, you guys. Uh, let's get started.
Okay. I am finished. Thank you guys so very much. Thank you, thank you. Please do me the honor of going over and checking out my Patreon or my uh, my yeah my Patreon channel and also my Etsy page. My Etsy page. I would be over the moon. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for. Oh, you know what? I lied. I forgot to include some pops of my pastels. Oh, I do that. Yes. Thank you for um, your support, you guys. Thank you for being on this journey with me and showing me that, um, or that I can do anything by allowing me to be, you know, it's creative a creative on um, the in social media and a teacher and someone who loves 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 what she does you know and uh, being able to do it I appreciate you guys so very very much let's make some of these pop 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 Pop, pop, pop. No, my purple is broken. The purple is broken. Let's find the orange. Okay, you guys. Uh, white gel pen. Let's see. Do I have a white gel pen in here? There we go. You know, <laughs> I can't just leave well enough alone, huh? I have a white gel pen in my hand, and there is a dark area. I, I am compelled to add in some doodles. I mean, it's kind of you know against the law as an artist if you don't. Just saying. Anybody else, you know, are compelled as well? Just there's something so magical about it. And it's just so easy to do. It's just so easy to do. Okay, you guys, thank you. 